Hello friends and welcome to today's episode where we are going to be kicking off with our Series 7 content here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and I hope you enjoy and find this episode useful. It's not so much about a team per se, but it's more to do with some resources that are available for you guys to uh, kind of give you a little bit of a head start with the new format coming into effect on the 1st of November. But before we get into that, there are a few disclaimers here because obviously there is a lot of information yet to be officially confirmed we don't know any stats about the glarian birds we only know their typing we don't know any information really about them outside of that we don't know anything about the new reggies or glarian slow king so we have got a bunch of information there that's not been uh, released yet and we also only have information from our data mine earlier in the year that we're kind of basing all these assumptions off which we don't know to be 100% correct or not like the the move tutors that are available to the new Pokemon coming into the game that we got with the Isle of Armor and do we know about move tutors that might be available in the Crown Tundra? There is a lot of information there that is not being released yet that we have no idea and will not know about until the Crown Tundra is actually released so the format that we are going to be about to jump into could be very different but it's not really about that we have a facility now where we can play a lot of the new pokemon together in a format against uh, other players that are playing the same format it means that we can start to learn what a potential metagame or as close to a series 7 metagame as possible could be right now and um, so what you want to do as i said it's on an alternative uh, showdown server at the minute it's not on the, the the main one the official one and that's for good reason that is for all the reasons that i've listed below they don't have all of the information yet on the formats on the pokemon so they're not putting um the the format out and that makes sense because it's obviously uh, nothing's been 100 percent decided yet so if you want to play on this new um server you can hop over to google um and then just type in this address if you want which is the sports.psim.us and that will take you over to this showdown server the alternative one that i'm talking about where there is a series 7 ladder available for you to play on now the link to this server will be down in the description below uh, so you'll be able to just use that and jump straight over to this server once you're here, what you want to be looking for in the format dropdown is the National Dex DLC 2 VGC format. That's the one that you want to be playing. That's the one that you're going to be wanting to build your teams with. Here you can see a little bit of a bigger look at it. And once you're here, you can jump into the ladder. Now, like I say, you need to have an open mind with this. This is going to be a tool used for learning the format or potentially what the format will be like. But more importantly, it's about trying combinations of Pokemon, seeing what works with the new Pokemon that are going to be introduced. Obviously, with all of the old Pokemon that are coming back from the ban list and the ones that we already have available to us. That is going to be Series 7, excluding Mythicals and Legendaries. Now, the other thing just to mention before we jump into this today is obviously the ladder. With the format that we've got available to us, there are just some discrepancies. You're going to come across some teams that are just not Series 7 legal at all. I mean, I put up a tweet earlier on today about a game that I was playing last night on this server where I came across five Eternatus and one Mega Blastoise. Like, that is just never going to happen in, in Series 7. So with those players, if you pair up with them or whatever, just ignore those battles. The majority of players are on this server are actually genuinely trying to practice Series 7 with legitimate or as close to legitimate as of right now Series 7 teams that we know of. So you're going to be fine. And like I say, it's a great tool. It's a great resource to have available to us right now to start testing, practicing, getting familiar with the new Pokemon that will be coming into the format. Um, the team that we're going to be using today, I'll drop this down in the description as well with a poker paste. Uh, it's something that I've just been playing around with uh, the last couple of days. It is based kind of around Metagross. I just think Metagross is uh, it's so nice because I've played old formats where Metagross has been a beast and it's actually it is a beast in this new format. I really love it. It's so good, uh, especially with the Dynamax mechanic. Uh, we're playing Weakness Policy on it, which will probably be one of the more popular items that you'll see played on Metagross, I would imagine, especially early format. Um, 
And with the clear body as well, obviously ignoring any of those kind of stack drops from Intimidate and uh, speed drops from things like Bulldoze or whatever you want to pair up with it. Uh, I've paired this up with Tornadus because it's obviously got that prankster ability, got that prankster tailwind that is just invaluable for speed control. Um, I've got Brutal Swing as well, which is a nice um, utility to use with proccing Metagross's weakness policy. Obviously, it hits everything on the field, boosts the weakness policy, and then Metagross can literally just start KOing stuff and boosting it itself with its its great Dynamax moves that it's got available to with the Steel Spike and the Max Quake there. Um, we play off the, the Zen Headbutt as well with our Ndidi who can bring the Psychic Terrain. So we've got Terrain Control here uh, and this also pairs nicely with our kind of Trick Room mode of the team with G-Max Hatterene. Um, obviously with the redirection allows us a pretty seamless way to set up trick room most of the time and then we've got toll call to obviously come in and take advantage of the trick room as well and then rounding off with gmax venusaur which is obviously plays nicely with the toll call and gives us a bit of coverage against some of the other weaker things that this team might otherwise struggle with and um, like i say the team uh poker base will be down in the description and that is something that i want to put down there as well if you guys want to jump over onto this server and start playing at least you got a team straight away that you can just put in you might not be to your taste but at least you got something to get you started with there's nothing worse than coming onto a new server in a new format and sitting in a team builder for hours thinking what am i going to play at least now you can just use this jump in start playing and it'll probably inspire some ideas you'll probably face other teams you'll get ideas of your own you'll start playing things that you think in your head are the best things to play so hopefully it is all helpful and that is the main thing about this video it's making you guys aware of this server and giving you a little bit of a, a push in the right direction to get yourselves familiar and start doing this so we'll have a couple of games as always we always do we may as well and uh, it'll give us a chance to see some of the the at least a, a little sight into some of the teams that are being used at the minute on the ladder so we no real way to deal with trick room i mean magnazon is good against our psychic core for sure um it might be better off us going tornadoes metagross you know they're probably going to tailwind though that's the thing and they're going to outspeed us if we go tailwind so this is where our trick room mod probably comes in a little bit stronger with Torkoal in the back that can deal with the Magnazon. And then, do we want Venusaur here? Because Venusaur isn't bad against the majority. Obviously, Tapu Lele and Cinderace give us a few headaches, but it will all depend if their, their uh, speed control is around late game or not. Okay, so we've got Magnazon and Cinderace. I think we've got a pretty seamless way to set up our, our trick room here, so we can definitely go for that. And, you know... Go follow me and no, 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 cancel. Why is this? This is really annoying. This overlay sometimes it clicks moves that you don't want it to click, so you've got to really pay attention to the text here. I had a game earlier where I was like, oh, G Max Fine Lash, the uh, the Garchomp, and it like misclicked Max Ooze, and I'm like, it's like the worst, worst thing to happen. So if you're using custom overlays, you show down, just be careful because some of them. A little bit awkward to uh, deal with now this is ideal for us honestly this is like perfect because now we get our trick room up we get talk all onto the field we're in an amazing position because we can just go dazzle and eruption if we want or we could go i think because the thing is the, the magnezone's probably got the sturdy ability so we're gonna have to double into it really realistically um why are we yeah we want eruption is the cinderace gonna stick around I don't think we need to worry about the Cinderace. I think we just max and go G Max. Well, let's go G Max Mindstorm and get rid of the uh, the electric terrain, get rid of that boost. So we'll go Eruption and Mindstorm into the Magnazon there. Um, Sucker Punch, which is fine. We need to take away the boost. The Cinderace goes down. Is it probably not enough? No, but I don't think Magnazon's. Yeah, this deal spikes fine with the special defense boost that we've got there. Okay, so we've got our terrain set up. Magnazon on the field. Doesn't look like my opponent's got too much to come in now and really give us any problems. With the psychic terrain up as well, it's kind of like a deterrent for Urshifu when it comes onto the field. So now we can just, um, yeah, make sure we are clicking the eruption button and then go for that G-Max Smite into the Garchomp. And um, yeah, I feel like like hard trick room size bam is very strong in this format as well. Obviously, it's very early days. Um, I originally was testing stack attacker where the Metagross was, and uh, we didn't have the tornadoes in. But um, yeah, it 
it's been really good, but I've kind of preferred the Metagross to Stack Attacker, uh, which is strange. I don't feel like Stacker is like the more the, the the best thing in the size spam team, at least for me. Other Pokemon that I feel like are very strong that have kind of jumped out at me, uh, things like um, Tapu Fini have been incredibly strong. Um, and like, no surprise, really. Thunderous as well, another great Pokemon. Uh, so there's lots, there's just lots of the new Pokemon coming into the format, as you can imagine, because of how good they are um doing a lot of decent things so good going my opponent will jump into another one i don't want to keep this video too long as well so if we can keep it under 15 minutes that'd be good and uh this is one of the examples i'm talking about um you're going to come across players that are doing this on the ladder just to try and be top of the ladder or whatever but like i say we're not on the ladder it's not super important the most important thing is the information that you're getting back from the games from the practice that you're putting in so don't be precious about your rank in this ladder. It's not important. The, the most important thing about this ladder is don't get annoyed or triggered if you come across guys like this. They're just doing their own thing and let them do their own thing. All that matters to you is the information that you're getting from playing this ladder, getting familiar with these new formats, getting familiar with these new combinations, new Pokemon. Outside of that, like I say, what I do with these teams, just click off them, forfeit, it doesn't matter, move on. The majority of the teams that you're going to come up against on the ladder, <laughs> okay, are going to be are going to be actually legit teams, okay? Um, like, this is rare. I was playing for a good couple of hours last night, and I came across one team that was like that. The rest of the time, it was all teams that are genuine Series 7 teams. There are more genuine Series 7 players on this ladder than they're not. But like I say, it's good in a way that we've got it for the video to show you guys that that's that sort of thing can pop up. But don't get don't get like annoyed by it. You can just forfeit and move on. Um. Okay. Dragapult, Togekiss, Heatran. Like I say, one of my favorites. Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Stack. I really like the look of this team. I think it's a, a very solid looking team. Very scary looking team. It's got Trick Room there. It's got the redirection, speed control. You've got potentially a weakness policy maybe on the Dragapult. I don't know. It could be more supportive. And Double Fake Out, which is just really good uh support option right let's get into this one um what are we gonna do now uh trick room mod isn't the greatest here but metagross isn't too bad the thing is the one thing i would have to maybe rely on a little bit is if um i'm gonna go tornadoes metagross here uh we can i think we need indeedy for the the terrain support and probably talk all in case the trick room goes up uh mm, hmm it's tricky though because I don't really mm, uh, is Venusaur better maybe just in the back slot because Venusaur generally isn't bad against most stuff here um, and it should add speed Heatran as well and unless they've uh, got max speed Heatran okay so Dragapult Kiss we can Tailwind um, we could actually switch into Ndidi here it'd be kind of cheeky but I'd imagine they'd probably want to go they might even proc our weakness policy you know if they max Pult that you would expect them to maybe do, but they probably want to go Airstream Dazzle to kind of at least match speed control. If they're going to do anything, I would imagine. Max Dragapult, go Airstream into Tornadus and Gleam to get rid of it. But that will do us a huge favor if that happens because uh, Metagross gets through this turn unscathed. We don't have a way to proc our weakness policy, which isn't great. Um... But then we do get Ndidi onto the field, so we can then max and start taking advantage of our um, Psychic Terrain. So there's the Airstream, yeah. And the Dazzle. No, just Air Slash, okay. So that's fine. Um, okay, now we get Ndidi onto the field. Because now they're going to be put off going for anything other than... Um, they're not going to Phantasm, for sure. So we could protect here, take advantage of that max, and go Steel Spike. Like, do we go Steel Spike into the Togekiss? Or are they going to switch out into something like Incineroar? I mean, the defense boost isn't going to be bad anyway. I'm going to attack into the Dragapult, because I feel like the, the Togekiss could switch out. Oh, we're not going to see that. That's interesting. Going for an Airstream again, which is fine. The defense boost, like I say, is going to be useful. 
uh, and just a dazzle. All right. Well, Metacross take that all day long. And the defense boost is super nice as well. So I'm doing some nice fat damage to that Dragapult, which is always useful. Uh, so we'll follow me again, and we'll go for a Steel Spike this time into the... I'm going to go into the Dragapult again, because the thing is, with the Togekiss, um, it's not really putting any pressure on either our Pokemon. I mean, the Dazzle crits are going to do a lot of damage. Oh, I misclicked again. Okay, well, we got to double protect somehow. This is what I mean about these themes. They're like, you need to be super careful about what you're uh, actually pressing. Uh, we do get the plus two defense, which is nice. Uh, it sets us up decently against the Dragapult. Now the Dragapult has got Phantom Force now, so it can dodge a final attack. So whatever comes in, um, it's more likely to be, yeah, Rillaboom, it makes sense. So I think what we'll do is switch into Venusaur. I think the Dragapult's probably gonna Phantom Force and we will we just max mind storm. Oh, we could mind storm. It takes away their ability to. Um, yeah, let's mind storm and make sure we are mind storming. I want to switch into Venusaur and mind storm the Rillaboom. Like, I'm not worried at all about the Dragapult now. It's not posing any threat. I don't think they're going to. Fan like, they might Phantom Force, but it's a two turn attack. Um, I think. They're more likely to fake out and DD, maybe. No, just going straight for the Heatran. Okay, it's got the balloon there, but that's fine. Dragon darts, super fine. Do not mind that at all. Um, and we'll get the Max Mindstorm up. They're going to, yeah, I mean, they're going to try and get Rillaboom back onto the field now, which is, like, it's all right. Um, I think we could, we could potentially just double into the Heatran with a Sludge Bomb Earthquake, you know. Because if the Rillaboom comes back onto the field, like Dragapult could Dragon Dart. Yeah, uh, it's gonna. Okay, that's fine. We'll get rid. Oh, the Heat Giant actually outspeeds us. What? Okay, well, we get a weakness policy boost, so we, we get rid of everything. I didn't expect the Heat Giant to outspeed us. Like, generally, like, Heat Giants normally run quite slow, but um, obviously, can't always rely on that. Uh, they are quite speedy Pokemon in general and we'll just uh, yeah well Zen Headbutt and that should seal the game up for a very close game but uh, yeah there we go we actually have to speed the, the Rillaboom so just be aware of the speed tiers on certain stuff and uh, yeah that was a that was a nice game at least and um, yeah we're going way over the time now so like I say this was a bit of information for you guys to have in the video to give you a platform where you can come and practice hope you found it useful really i hope you do there's a poker base down below of this team so hopefully that helps you as well and um we'll be back very soon with more series 7 if you'd like to see more content more teams and just going and playing on the ladder please let me know down in the comment section below leave your comments and let me know because I'm super happy to do more content like this until we get the official ladder up and running and doing more stuff around teams and calls and different combinations that we can see at the minute with what we've got available to us so yeah i'm gonna leave it there friends thank you so much as always for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will see you for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye